For those of you who don't know what portals are, I've written about them. I think it was in Convoluted Universe Book 3 uh, about portals and windows. And a portal is supposed to be something you can go through, you can travel through, to go through time or go into another dimension. And this is the way the ETs travel. They go back and forth through portals mm -hmm. and through dimensions. They don't have a certain kind of fuel for their craft to go so many miles an hour to get out to that next star. It's done with lowering the vibrations and frequencies of the craft, just like in uh, Star mm -hmm. Trek when they just say, mm -hmm. engage, mm -hmm. and there right. they go. Right. But the uh, people have gone back and forth th through these portals also, and they're used for time travel and for interdimensional travel. But that's a portal. There's also windows. You can go through a portal, but a window is one that you can see through into the other dimension, and people have reported things like that that are very weird. But you can see through, but you can't travel through. And in one of my sessions, it was interesting, uh, they said they had portals that you could move, and I didn't know you could move a portal. Yeah. I thought it was stationary right. in one place. Right. And they said, oh, no, we can move them if we have to. Mm -hmm. So I'm always learning something new, that it is possible to move a portal from one place to the other. But these things are happening all around us. We just don't know it because we're so concentrated on our physical, concrete world that we can see. But they're there, and that's why I think it's happening. The mm -hmm. veil's spinning. Mm -hmm. we're, things are changing so much with the vibrations and frequencies. Mm -hmm. Maybe now we're going to be able to see these portals. 